video is brought to you in part by Toy Factory Fab North Shore Off-Road Alberta OHV Trail Ride Good morning, YouTube. We are headed out today to explore. We're headed out to the Old Man River, uh, which should be awesome. We did a trip out here a few weeks back to Monad Peak, which was a good ride. Um, we had no visibility though, and we were up high in the mountains, so it would have been really nice to see some of the views. So yeah, we're heading out. I don't know if you guys can see here. I'll see if we can get a little shot on this turn, but Danny's behind me. Danny just picked up a 2023 or 2020, no, 2024 KRX 1000 to replace his 2020, uh, which I think he miled out over 10,000 kilometers on it. So uh, yeah, super excited to get out with Danny. Danny's kind of one of the OG first KRX owners in, uh, in Calgary that I got to talk to personally before I bought mine. So we got Stitch hooked up there. We're headed out. Uh, and it should be, yeah, it should be an awesome day. I've been so blessed this week. This is our third ride in in a week. So we did uh, McLean, we did Wipris, Ghost Area, and now we're headed out to uh, to do the Old Man River. So what a, what a time, what a time to be alive. Also, can we take a minute to appreciate my uh, my Movember stash? Look at that. Mm. I don't know, that's, that's a pretty good porn stash if I've ever seen one. Anyways, we're gonna head out you guys. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. We're gonna rip, rip out Go see some views, go explore. We haven't spent a lot of time out here before, so this will be new territory for uh, for all of us. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, you guys. Should be a great day out. We got great weather. Obviously, as you guys can see, the mountains are calling. We got snow on the tops. We got, uh, you know, bare ground down below. It's only like, it's one degree right now. So perfect, perfect riding at weather. We're not gonna be too hot, too cold. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's get out on the trail. And uh, yeah, let's, let's hammer it, let's go. All right, we just got onto the pave, or just just got off the pavement, so we're officially onto the dirt roads, headed for the mountains. I don't know if you can see right there. That's where we're headed. All right, we're just on Highway 532 now, starting to slick up. Uh, this highway, this secondary highway 532, actually closes December 1st, just due to winter conditions. So. I guess we'll see today how we fare. Definitely never done this before with a trailer behind me. I think Danny's got a, a one ton, so he should have an easier time of it than, than me. But I mean, at the end of the day, traction is uh, traction's a pretty big deal when you're hauling a load. So we'll take a stab at it, see what happens. But yeah, I've never been this way. I was told by a couple guys out here last set that, uh, that it's pretty slippery. So stay tuned, I guess we'll see what happens. Man, what a nice area to be driving in. Like, it's so pretty in here. It's quite the road. Danny just killing it in the new Ford. Woo, I wish I could put the, I wish I could put the drone up and show you guys, but it's too warm. We're just waiting for some bighorn sheep to go across the road up here. Looks like we gotta go all the way up that ridge. That is, that is a spicy hill. All right, looks like we're breaking through. Just coming up the top of the valley. There's lots of snow up here. This obviously isn't plowed or anything. Could probably use a good plow up here. But that, I'm thinking, is probably it. Wow! It's quite the road to be pulling a trailer up. I'm glad, <laughs> glad we made it up there. Transmission's nice and warm. Woo! This would not be the place to start sliding. All right. Okay, so we just got to the trailhead. Unload, rip up. No one's been here. Should be sweet. Make such 
a difference. He's all studded up and he just climbs. Should be able to make it up this though, yeah? drive shaft. I broke a drive shaft? No, no, no. You're going to if you oh. keep that up. Yeah, I just... Just back her flat again. Up until this point in the ride, we hadn't run into any snow that was more than three to six inches deep. However, as we climbed through more peaks and more valleys, we ended up into the wind drifts, which were over a foot and a half deep in some spots. At this point in the day, we were having to use our lockers as well as full four low to get through most of these drifts. All right, we're heading down and we got dead ended. So now we're turned around. We're heading back up the trail uphill. Uphill sucks when there's a foot of snow. But Danny's ready, he's full sending it. He is full send, baby. Ripping and tearing. Ripping and tearing.
One of the big differences between Danny's KRX and mine is that he has the upgraded tender springs, 33 inch tires, and studs. This extra ground clearance along with a little bit of extra grip gets you farther in some situations, as in this situation where I was not able to make it up these deep ruts without losing all my traction and speed. Luckily after several runs I was able to dig to the bottom and with enough maneuvering of the front wheels was able to climb up and out of the rut. That's beautiful, man. That is pretty. Oh, man. That is nice. Yeah, that's as far as we could make it. That is a good 60, 50, 60 plus slope. That is greasy. <laughs> Look at that. Alberta trail system. Like that is too, too narrow. Guys can't make it on these side-by-sides. They're just gonna cut paths around. That's where this is gonna get bucked right out. All right, so we just deadheaded on the far side of the trail again. Um, we are at, where are we at here? Let's see. Right, I don't know how much you can see here, but this is on the far side here, and then this is, where are we? All the way back here is where we staged, so. We've got a little ways to go back, but uh, yeah, what a hell, hell of a day. Like at the end of the day, what a, what a great ride. There's lots of snow out here, lots of tackiness. KRXs are holding up awesome. We're busting through this snow, sometimes with the locker on, but yeah, heck of a day, heck of a day. So we're gonna head back now and uh, try to pick up the trucks and that's it. Hopefully we uh, make it back before it gets to nightfall. Look at that mount, look at that. Anyways, you guys, we just got off the trail. We did, I think we did about 60 or 65 kilometers today. Um, abs absolutely stunning day. We had perfect weather. It's only like minus three right now. So we had a really, really good day out. We're getting off the trail early. We're getting off at 
4.30, so which is a nice early day for us. We're not gonna push it just because we're out of cell reception and there's only the two of us today. But yeah, we had an awesome day out, really good. KRX has performed excellent. Obviously, Danny did a little bit better with the studs and the 33s than I did. But uh, yeah, in terms of just a great day out, no drama, no garbage, we rode hard. We saw some really, really nice shots. So it was, uh, yeah, it was just a really, really good day out. So if you guys are still watching, and you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate all of the support on the channel. Uh, that's why we were able to come out and do what we do. Um, but that was, yeah, really, really good day out, ton of fun, and we will definitely be out to explore this area. Cause again, this is my second time out here. I've done a total of about, I think about 130, 140 kilometers out here total. And I haven't touched all the trails yet. So we're, <laughs> we're still finding new stuff. There's, there's lots and lots of trails out here. So we will be back for sure. Um, the snow is starting to get deep, so I think come uh, come springtime is probably going to be our best bet to get out here and maybe even camp out here, spend a few days, and uh, yeah, that's that's just it. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Country Slicker, out of here.